All right, what are we doing today? Going wave left, low taper, keep it dark. Okay. Uh, show the curves. All right, bet. Be crispy, you know? Video off, I wanna go in by picking my client hair to be able to feed my guard through the client's hair. It is our fifth year anniversary on YouTube. Without further ado, let's lock in, let's get it. So to kick this haircut off, I want to go in by feeding my number two guard throughout the client's head. I'm trying to see the reaction or how his hair reacts when I feed a number two through it. Just because the client did state earlier in the video that he wanted to go wavelength, low taper, but he also still wanted to show the curves of his lineup. So I'm just trying to figure out what accommodates his hairstyle correctly, just because it's a different type of texture in terms of how his hair is reacting to the number two guard. So it don't look like I'm really trimming too much off. But I got something to lay this hair completely down If you're able to make it through my video today Please like, share, subscribe, comment Hit that notification bell to get alerted Cause I promise you the video's gonna get crazier Let's lock in So I'm gonna break it to my taper area By using my Babeless FX's Cleaning up the bottom area of the taper I'm gonna create a nice little round section Towards the top of the year And I just wanna create a first nice panel And as you guys can see I'm pressing just using the corner on my trimmers You ain't gotta overly do it you ain't gotta to overly work yourself just get in a nice clean guideline my next step is a number two completely open just to clear bulk and feather this area out my next step is completely open with my babeless fx is about a half of an inch Next step is a 1 8 guard completely closed. I'm trying to transition that number one guard into that number two guard that I did earlier. So as you guys see, the higher I get in the fade, I'm going to open up my lever. The lower I am, I'm going to keep that lever closed. And that's all what it's about. It's about keeping it consistent, but finding your system that's going to help you feather it out. Right here, I'm using a .5 guard, which is a 1 16th guard on my Babeless. I broke my 1 16th for my uh, Andes Masters, so it's really throwing me off right now. It's going to take me a little longer to fade this side out. Because I'm using a different guard system I hate any guard system that's close to the Babeless guard system Or any guard system close to the wall guard Since the guards are too flat I need my guards to dig through the hair But you know I'm just taking my time And now I'm back down halfway close here And I'ma go completely close here open the clipper all the way up and I'm gonna basically rake at the hair just so I can feed the hair in from a side angle but also achieve a nice way of fading and feathering out the taper super clean super consistent super precise and this is how we get a nice burst of taper My next step is to go on my Babeless FX's and this is about two inches starting from the bottom to the top. I'm just basically weighing out how much neck room I have to create a nice taper in the background. So I'm just keeping everything consistent. Once I clear this panel, I'm going to go completely open using my Babeless FX's. And now open with the FX's. As you guys can see, I'm giving myself about an inch. I just want to be able to create a nice transition and a nice feathered effect, but also give him a nice taper that will accommodate his head style. Next step is a 1 8 guard, and it's completely open using my purple guard. And as you guys can see, it's coming together real clean. 
super nice and it's transitioning into that two now that point five guard and that's halfway close and as you guys can see i'm just nudging at it trying to get it to transition i really 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 don't like these guards but in our world of barbering in our field sometimes you got to work with what you have and in this case and in this scenario i'm working with what i have to accommodate me best to be able to get this guy a nice clean taper that's the objective like this go to show that you could problem solve but you could also step outside your element in a shop and execute haircuts at a high efficiency rate right here i'm halfway close towards the bottom and i'm trying to get the bottom to completely blend in with that open area and as you guys can see i'm just moving my lever up and down the close my lever is the lower i am in the fade so i'm close here and then the higher i am in the fade i'm opening up my lever some just so i don't take away as much hair Y'all know how I give it up on this side. It's just my motivational side where I like to tap in with majority of my people that's out there watching. As you guys heard, it's our fifth year anniversary. I wanna give a big shout out to everybody that's been around for all five years. And even if you ain't been around for all five years, I superly appreciate anybody that's been supporting my channel and supporting everything that I've been doing. Since I started YouTube, my systems became more efficient. I've been sponsored by teams. I'm now a company owner. I have more multiple products that I've created and that I've owned. I've just completely elevated right before y'all eyes by doing YouTube and I think it's so dope without the help of y'all, without you guys helping me grow and create my influence in the game, I wouldn't be in the place that I'm in now. So I want everybody, man, if you're doing anything, stick to it. Remain humble throughout your whole process and continuously invest in your education and always push it forward, push it forward, push it forward because the game going to reward you for everything that you put into it. Right here, I just went in, I trimmed the front of the hair down, and then I'm going in with some mousse now, which is a lot of body wrapping lotion. As I told you guys earlier, I didn't like how that number two laid his hair down, so I'm gonna go in there, which is basically a wrapping lotion to get this hair pulled forward, to try to get this hair to lay down as much as possible. Assisting it with a blow dryer and a brush, I will consistently brush this throughout his hair until the white color of the wrapping lotion is gone, and then the hair looks laid as much as possible. is just coming together to fade popping out more and then the most important part of any haircut you float over the top of the haircut without a guard completely closed taking your time and showing that you don't patch the client but you also make sure that you cleaning all of the roach legs the scraggly legs up to get the hair to look laid as possible to get it to look like i never even cut it to, to get it to look like this came fresh from under a do-rag and as you guys can see look how his hair is laying now opposed to earlier Super clean, super brought forward. My next step is to go in with some M spritz. I'm prepping a lineup for that kill shot. Y'all know what time it is. It's bag season, so we finna hop right into that. I go in with my Babeless FXs, and I'm hitting the bottom of the vertical neck areas in my straightaway. Once I bend the ear, you guys will see me convert to the corner of my clipper to work myself all the way around the ear. Same steps over here repeated, doing my straightaways. Once I get to the tip of the ear, convert to the corner of my blade and work myself all the way around the ear. Super clean. My next step is to start myself in the middle, seeing that my client got this sandy blondish hair. It's almost hard to see his lineup in his lighter areas on the lineup, but in the front, it's pretty much strong enough to be able to see it and get a nice straightaway. When I'm tapping the corners or the side vertical area right here, as you guys can see, it's sandy. You're not gonna get that super crazy, crispy, ashy effect that you will get on a darker client, but you still will be able to get the shape of the lineup. So just keep it consistent. Don't change none of your steps. Stay focused. It's the lineup area we talk about this is literally to me the most important part of the haircut some people feel other some people think they fade the most important but i'm telling you when somebody see you right off the get-go they can't see how consistent your fade is but they can definitely see how clean and straight your lineup is so i'm just ensuring that this is superly up to par with the situation 
My next step is to go in with my boy Sean Cuts here, color enhancement car at a three inch distance. I'm using my Beam Team Coolest Compressor, assisting it with my color no drip, which is completely waterproof, and it also gives a nice, clean, enhanced look to any brown or black client's hair. And as you guys can see, the fulfillment of the lineup is looking super clean, it's looking super consistent, and we just duffled up right now. I'm super focused, but I'm bringing everything together, and I'm ensuring that the client is going to have a nice, clean, enhanced lineup. Taking my time and just being real patient with my situation. Super nice. My next step is to go behind that using some M Spritz again. I just want to overly lock it in. And then I want to go behind that using a Barber Magic Pencil with my Barber Magic Pencil. I'll be using this the same way most women use their concealer pencil. And I'm basically just concealing the lineup. This is going to help me get a lineup more pop, more fluff. And I stayed away from the tan pencil here because my client has a lighter skin. And if I put the tan pencil on him, he would actually be lighter than a tan pencil. And a tan pencil would appear yellow on his skin so i'm just you know picking products that accommodate his skin complexion really well because once i start to hit this line with my trimmers it'll create a nice contrast between his skin and his haircut which will give it a nice crispy clean pop look my next step is to go in using my Babyliss FX's. I want to hit this line. I want to basically tap at this line to create a nice, clean, contrasted look. As you guys can see, once I hit it with my trimmers, the color starts to spread against the skin, and it starts to really create that contrast that I'm talking about in terms of concealing the lineup. It's giving it a nice, crispy, clean, pop and flare look, and that's what I'm aiming for in most of my haircuts. I want my lineups to pop. I need the lineups to pop, pop, pop. That's what a lot of my clients come to me for i understand that enhancements are not for everybody i understand the pencil isn't for everybody but this personally for me my clients want they like that crispy clean look but this also assists most of my pictures and my kodak moments when i take pictures in a shop i get real crispy clean pop like looking pictures and that's the objective behind my chair when i'm making flyers when i'm making new business cards these are the clients that's going on there because they have these crispy clean pop looks that they translate really well on new business cards so you gotta just you know figure out what work for you in this angle of barbering everybody got their own road everybody got something different going on everybody got their own talents and in my city in my shop this is what people know me for super clean haircuts and crazy lineups they know me for precision that's what beam stand for i tell y'all multiple times beam stand for laser beam like that's exactly what it stood for i got laser focus when it come to lineups i'm just cut different in this area and that's one thing that i overly overly appreciate you know as my gift that god gave me to be super clean and haircuts to be able to create any lineup in any situation and you know ultimately give my clients a different level of instilled confidence that's always been my mission behind the chair as long as i'm instilling confidence in any human being that's sitting behind my chair i'm doing my job correctly and another thing if i'm able to teach you guys at least one thing one gym throughout my video I'm also doing my job correctly. I chose to sign up to not only be a barber, but an educator to give game away as well. We getting this super clean. I'm just cleaning up the gold tee. And I just wanted to put this in the footage just because, you know, a lot of people don't put in beer footage and things of that nature. But this is my favorite thing to do. Just get real clean with the clients. Shout out to Jerm Boomin for this crazy beat. This anniversary sample was ridiculous. My next step is to go in, stretch the skin, angle my razor at a 45 degree angle, and bring everything back to the lineup or pull it away from the lineup just to get more of a clean, consistent look with my pencil. I want to ensure that the forehead is clean, none of the hole and spray stays alone. And y'all know me, at the end of the day, no matter how much work that I clean up, I go behind everything that I do after using my straight razor is I go in with my wrist 
lapse because you gotta dust things off you can't just lap something one time you know cleanliness is next to godliness and the more reps that you put up behind the cheddar cleaner the ending result will be so just stay focused do this thing more than one time and understand and know your situation that it is different that you gotta get super clean and you gotta do things more than one time to get the ultimate level of cleanliness you can do things one time and it look good but the ultimate level of cleanliness comes with repetitions so i want y'all to get that in y'all head when y'all behind this chair have fun with what you're doing man tune everybody out in the shop and hop in your bag that's what this world is about it's about just being consistent having fun doing what you're doing so it never feel like you working staying consistent and the most important investing in your own education angle people out have fun and dance in your own element and work at your own speed Unfortunately, we do get clients that come in looking crazy by the head, but as barbers, it's up to us to change that outcome. We are the first form of surgeons to start acting like it. Without further ado, let's lock in. Hashtag TBT in that comment section. Hashtag Glacier Gang. Hashtag Glass. Y'all know what time it is. It's 2021. It's year of transformations. We super focused, and we're going to keep installing confidence in all of the clients that come in our chair. Just got beat, man. You heard my client, it's nothing else for me to say. As long as I'm still a confidence, that's the only thing that I have to do behind this chair. If you was able to make it through this 15 to 17 minute video, I superly appreciate you. Please hit that like, share, subscribe button, hit that notification bell to get alerted when new videos come out. Without further ado, I appreciate you so much. Until next time, and may God bless. All right, YouTube, that was a quick little two-month transformation. Let me know what y'all think about that joint in the comment section. I think that's going to be a banger, super precise, super clean, tape of burst it. Let me know what y'all think about that joint in the comment section. So as you guys can see, some of the perks with these Gossy Palm socks, which make these a little bit different than others. Not only do we have men and women socks, the socks are 80% cotton. You get cushion soles at the bottom of each sock. On the site, the cuts that are available are crew and low-cut ankle. You get free shipping for any order over $50. And for 15% off any of your orders, use the promo code BEAM. It will be somewhere at the bottom of the screen. The link will also be somewhere in the bottom of the description. Lock in, hit up Gossip Pod. I'm telling y'all, they got some dope, dope, dope socks. I think it's something super fire. Again, shout out to my boy Steven Wright for this. I appreciate you. And until next time.